Hey guys, it's Holly. We just returned from a trip to Florida and on this trip, we went and visited the Everglades. We did an airboat tour, got to see alligators, went to an animal sanctuary and got to see a really cool alligator show. So come with me right now as I share with you our whole experience visiting the Florida Everglades. Now there are a lot of different companies out there that provide airboat tours, but we went through Captain Jack's because they had the best reviews and we did the grassland airboat tour combo which provided a one hour mangrove airboat tour 30 minute grassland airboat tour and the alligators show with the visit to the animal sanctuary these were all the things that we wanted to do in the amount of time that we had so our first stop was captain jack's airboat tours we hopped aboard a boat and went and did an hour-long tour of the mangroves Our one hour tour through the mangrove trees was quite an adventure. Our captain that we had who drove the boat was great. He drove super fast and did a wonderful job not hitting a thing. And he answered any questions that we had. It was so much fun. Overall, just really pretty getting to see this area of the Everglades. Our captain then took us to an area where we did in fact see some alligators. Here's a big one right here that we got to get really close up to. Very cool being able to see alligators in their natural habitat. After that first airboat tour, we then drove down the road to Wooden's Alligator Park. And there we hopped aboard another airboat tour for a 30 minute ride on the grasslands. Out in the grasslands, we also got to see more wild alligators like this big one here and a lot of baby alligators. They say that typically they spot more of these baby alligators on the tours they give. But overall, it was fun to be able to whip through the grasslands and get to see this part of the Everglades as well. <laughs> Our two airboat rides were over. We then headed over to the animal sanctuary. They had quite a variety of animals there to check out. It was kind of like a miniature zoo. But I would say our favorite part of visiting the animal sanctuary was the alligator show. <music> You 
guys want to see me touch his tongue? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Here we go, Charlie. Are you ready, buddy? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I only feed him once a week. What? Yep, that keeps him nice and hungry. It gives us a better show. <laughs> <laughs> With such a slow metabolism, they do not eat every single day. Once a week, I'll give him about 35 to 40 pounds of meat and other stuff, um, and that's all he needs, man. He's a pretty cheap pet. Smile, buddy! It's not a very big smile. <laughs> you guys think I'm fast enough? <laughs> Find out. Good boy, Charlie. So we're gonna come right up behind them where they can't see us, being very, very careful about it. We're gonna get as close as we can to the front legs. We're gonna reach down and grab the jaws. Now, as long as he doesn't see us, we're fine. I just showed you with my hand in the mouth. If they don't see it, they won't bite it. So right here's a pretty bad place to be. As quickly as I can, we're going to reach down and grab the jaws just like that right there. Can you say hi to these nice people for me? Hi, people. <laughs> So we are going to stick the band on. With the band on, he cannot hurt you guys, I promise. We then each got to hold a baby alligator and it was all included with the entry. No extra charge. Before heading out, we went and checked out the lions and tigers there. is it on our trip to the Everglades and our experience there. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas, a better understanding of what those kind of tours look like. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a great day.